Hey everyone. Like most people, I jumped back into CSGO right before the CS2 release and a lot of my friends joined me. Of course, running the default skins got pretty boring pretty fast and a lot of skins look super cool in CS2. Everyone knows that a lot of skins can be very expensive in CS2, but while a lot of skins are expensive, there are some great options to build a loadout on a budget. The first step to building out a loadout is to get some money. So have your dinner subway sandwich combo for lunch, skip dinner, and save that $15 for CS2 skins. Now the key to building a good cheap loadout is understanding what you use the most and spending proportionally more money for the stuff you want to use more. The starter pistols, the deagle, the op, the AK, and one of the M4s could be all the skins you have, and if you play well with those, nobody would know that all your other weapons have no skins. I'd still recommend using the best gun for the situation, even if you don't have the best skin for it though. If you use other weapons, maybe consider splitting up your budget a little differently to get a skin for the other guns you might use. Alright, and we'll start with the skins on T-Side. First, for the Glock, the Ironwork is a great option, a subtle twist on the default Glock. The black pairs well with default gloves and you can pick this up in Minware for 25 cents. The Glock Wraith is a similar price and look, with little glowing green sights. It can also be picked up in Minware for around 40 cents. If you're not into subtlety and you want flashier options, the Candy Apple, Bunsen Burner, and Moonrise have a little bit more flair for a little bit higher price tag. The AK is a bit more expensive for most skins, but there are some pretty good budget options. For skins that are subtle and pair well with default gloves, the Slate in Field Tested, the Elite Build in Minware, or the Steel Delta in Field Tested look great. Again, if you want something flashier, the Orbit in Field Tested and Ice Cold in Field Tested, or the Nightwish in a Low Float Battle Scarred are great for around the $10 price tag. Again, it all depends on what guns you play the most with, so if you play mostly with rifles, spending the money on a nice AK and M4 would be better than buying an expensive op or deagle. For the op, there are a couple pretty good options. The Black Nile is a great, subtle design and matches pretty well with the default gloves. The exoskeleton looks great too. The new lighting in CS2 really helps all of the design pop. For a little more flair, in my personal choice, the Op Aetheris is a great budget option. It looks great at all floats because the snake doesn't wear with the rest of the skin. If you're an Op player and you want to spend a little bit more money on your Op, the Fever Dream in Field Tested looks pretty good and goes for around $9. CT, or we're on T-side. I'm hitting hops! I went zooming. A powerful hand cannon that both sides can use, the Deagle is a must-have in all CS2 players' inventories. My personal Deagle skin, the Corinthian, is a skin that looks amazing in CS2 with the new weapon lighting changes. The engravings and ridges on this are so defined and pronounced. The Corinthian wears really well, so the different floats allow you to choose the shade of metal, with the factory new being brighter than well-worn. On a budget, minimal wear or well-worn gives you cheap options for different brightnesses. Enough about the Corinthian, here are a couple other budget Deagle skins. The Blue Pie, I guess, is alright in Field Tested. For subtlety, the Naga is pretty cool in Field Tested, but it's a little more expensive. The Light Rail looks pretty great in CS2, and if you want something with flash, it definitely fits what you need. Okay, I'm mid-editing right now, but I forgot an absolutely sick Deagle skin. The Deagle Directive looks super good in CS2 with all the 3D elements and the new CS2 lighting. On CT side, you'll probably use both the M4A4 and the M4A1S, so it's best if you can get a skin for each, but if you can only get a skin for one, it's up to personal preference and what works best with your playstyle. There's three great budget skins for the M4A1S. The Nitro is a classic and the black matches the dark default gloves, with the orange giving a little pop of color. A controversial option, but one that I personally enjoy is the mud spec. In CS2 with the new lighting, the skin is a great gold color in Battle Scar, but looks great at the cheapest option field tested. For a skin that is a little flashier, the Night Terror is another great option. A little more expensive than the others, but it has a different color depending on the float. The cheapest float, field tested, looks great as well. I'm personally not a huge fan of the busy design, but if you want an M4A1S with color and you're on a tight budget, the M4 Asaurus might be the right skin for you. The cheapest float, field tested, looks great with very little visible wear. For the M4A4, the best budget skin in my opinion has to be the Magnesium. While the flames are kinda corny, the lighting in CS2 makes this thing really shiny and just has a great subtle twist on the standard M4A4 design. In field tested, the skin is really cheap and really one of the best budget M4A4 skins. I guess if I'm giving more options for each skin, I have to do another option for the M4A4. I'm not a huge fan of the super military style, but the M4A4 polymag definitely is a little more interesting than the default M4. And finally, to end this all off, the only CT side starting pistol, the USPS. There are a lot of great budget options for the USPS, so I'm going to quickly list off some of my favorites. 
The Lead Conduit, Black Lotus, Ticket to Hell, and Cyrex are classic options. For a more expensive, colorful choice, the Cortex is a great skin. If you're the mud-stained M4A1S and Polymag M4A4 guy, the Desert Tactical USPS is for you. The red trigger just has a little pop that makes the skin a little more interesting than the other basic camo skins. Personally, I really like subtle skins, so I have a little bit of bias for the skin. It's a little pricey, but the USPS Stainless really has to be my personal favorite skin on a budget. If you don't like the choices I've shown you, or maybe you're trying to find skins for other guns I didn't give options for, try heading over to a website that shows all the different weapon skins. For this video, I used CSGO Stash, which really was a great resource for finding new looks pretty easily. If you liked the video or found it helpful in finding a budget CS2 loadout, consider dropping a like. This is my first CS2 video, and I've got a long ways to go with this sort of content, so I'd appreciate any advice in the comments. I really just want to say thanks so much for watching. I appreciate anyone who takes time out of their day to watch my silly little videos. If enough people like this video, maybe I'll make a budget knives-gloves combo guide next.